Hello, welcome to lesson two of creating vehicle monitoring system in Radzin Blazer. So in this second lesson, we are going to create the baseline Blazor app using Razi Blazor Studio. So I'm going to go to my desktop. I'll right, click new. I'll right, click and point. I'll click on new and I'll I'll point to the uh, folder. So I'm going to create a folder on my desktop called vehicle. Monitoring system. After creating the folder, I will get the full part to the folder by copying it. After that, then I'll go to Razin Blazor Studio. I'm going to click on it to start Razin Blazor Studio. So then I'll click on new application. I'm going to choose Blazor web application for .NET 8. Then I'll click on next. I'm going to give the application a name which is very cool monitoring system the interactivity mode for this application will be auto the team I want to use I want to use material tree team material tree team and I'm going to paste the part that I copied earlier on I'm going to enable progressive web assembly Prog sorry progressive web apps as well let me see create a progressive web app application progressive web app no I don't want that do I want that ok let me leave it at the boot so I click finish. So now, now, Ransom Blazor Studio has finished uh, building the app. 
the next thing I'm going to do is to connect the this uh, Blazor app to the database we created in lesson one. So I click on data, go to MS SQL, click on next, I go back to object explorer, at the top, very top, I will right click, I'll click on properties, and then copy, here I have my server name which I'm going to paste, but education type SQL login, username SA, password, whatever it is. Database, very cool monitoring DB. Pick it up and I click next. Select which entities to scaffold and to scaffold all the three tables or three entities. Configuration, I'll change the name to Condata. I'll be using optimist, optimistic concurrency as well. What does that say? Okay, let's click on next. Mistakenly click on finish finish. I'm going to start the process again. I want to create the tables as well in one soup. So it's saying a foreign data source. I'm going to pause the video again. So I've created the data source, but well, let's expand pages folder in the client project you can see I have uh, just one page what I want to do is I want to create all the crowd pages in one swoop so uh, I'm going to the uh, repeat the data scaffold process again click on data I have this con data data source that has been created already I click on next uh, just what I'm going to do is to ensure that I have optimistic concurrency. I click next. So this is what we missed. Generate pages for CRUD. So I'm selecting CRUD. I click on next. I'm going to select all the three entities. Then export to Excel and CSV such as you type. Page and featuring of lookup data. Click to edit. I will leave the date format the way it is. Uh, let me use field for form field variant. Then I click on finish. So it's inferring data source again. So I'm going to pause the video. So now you can see that apart from index.razor which we had earlier, other pages have been added. Let's run our app for the first time. Click on run. So here is the application starting for the very first time. So let's go to vehicles. So that's what we have. 
So you could add a new vehicle by clicking on add. And this is what you've got. You could edit a vehicle by double clicking. And this is what you've got. Let's look at GPS data. This is what you've got. Let's look at, and then if, if you click on hard, this is what you've got. Click on, let's do click on one of the records. This one you've got. Let click cancel. Then let's look at speed measurements as well. This is what you got. That is what you've got. This is what you've got. So, uh, in the next lesson, we'll make some, we'll, we'll commence making some refinements to this baseline app. Thank you for watching.